In this video, I'm going to fill up this boot with profitable thrift store items to sell on eBay. Reason why is because in a month's time, I'm flying over to the USA for the ultimate thrift trip adventure. Over the past 11 weeks, I've been trying to save up $8,000 selling thrift store items on eBay to fund the trip. But as the trip draws closer, I've realized that I'm actually going to need to source even more items so I can schedule them up and have them sell while I'm away. So that's going to be the focus for today's video and whenever I find myself in this position there's always one category that I turn to. It's easy to source, it's easy to list and it's easy to ship. Let's go and find some DVDs. Well, that didn't take too long, guys. TV series for $2 a piece in this store. Black Sales goes for 50, and we've got Deadwood going for 25. So that was the best out of this bunch here that I've ended up picking up. But the story of the day, guys, we've got the Powerpuff Girls 20th anniversary goes for $500 in brand new, 180 pre-owned. So I added that to the collection along with a few other TV series which turned this haul into a pretty cool DVD grab for just the one thrift store. I grabbed my mini trolley and I pushed across to the shoe section and guys there was a couple of goodies here as well. We've got the New Balance 009s, are you kidding? Just a $4 price point on these things and I found two Pegasus 36 Nike running shoes for 12 bucks a piece. Both the same size, US 10, they were an absolute cracker. And then to round out this first run of the day, I've got a David Smith button-up shirt. It's also brand new with tags, and I paid the $10 for it. You generally get around about the $50 price point when you're buying brand new David Smith shirts in the thrift, so that was a really cool finish. Big thank you to everybody that entered the prize draw for these Adidas canvas shoes that I picked up in last week's trip to the thrift. We had a bunch of entries and I'm pleased to report the lucky winner for these bad boys is Michael Bordakis. So hopefully I pronounced that name right, Michael. Shoot me a note on Instagram and uh, I'll get these shoes across to you ASAP. I've got another prize draw to give away in this week's episode and they're a pretty good pair of shoes. We've got the Nike Pegasus 36s. I've just picked up two pairs. I figured I'd give one away to you and I'd sell one myself. Now, I've actually just sold this shoe not too long ago for $55. So I know that it does go on for a pretty good price. Use the code word Nike, like the video and subscribe to the channel, guys. Super simple stuff. Thank you very much for your support. We had the Powerpuff Girls to start the day. We've got another absolute banger here. World of Warcraft. We've got the collector's edition sets here. Not only one, but two actually. $45 a piece is the talking point. So it is an Instagram viewer poll question, but one of them was pretty much all sealed up, all the games and DVDs uh, and soundtracks, etc. Uh, this one here was in pre-owned condition. So didn't know whether to buy one of them, didn't know whether to buy both of them. I'm gonna put it up to you guys to see what your thoughts are, but this is a really cool collection you don't often find in the thrift. So to even just to see it on the shelf, I was pretty blown away by it. A very, very cool find. I'm sure there's some collector out there that wants to get their hands on it. Jumped into the shoe section. I found these I Love Paris Gazelles. A $15 price point, bright red colorway. Really like the look of these and they're in great condition. Should be able to convert into about 50. These Crocs as well. I actually don't mind buying the brand Crocs. These were brand new, um, just a pair of men's sandals. They're a US size. 10 uh, and they did have their tags on them so I should get about 60 bucks for those ones there but how good was this for $30 it's ultimately probably the most I'd pay for a pair of these sorts of shoes but you can turn them around into about 75 to $80 so that's what I'm going to try and do with these ones here they are in excellent condition and again just like the gazelles I just really like the colorway uh, the DVDs guys they have been absolutely flying for us today we've got this one right here Yu-Gi-Oh I've got a brand new copy going for about 60 bucks so with seasons one and two I might be able to push myself for about a hundred bucks on this lot. If we put the $45 price point aside for the World of Warcraft Collector's Edition packs, it was still a pretty cool item to be finding in the thrift. And I spoke to the girl behind the counter and she said that she'd only just put them onto the shelf. So timing is everything. I'll put it up to you guys as an Instagram viewer poll question. And 56% of you said to go ahead and pick them up. So for $90, that's exactly what I've got ahead and done, guys. I'm, I'm hoping I can turn it into about $200 and then it will definitely be worthwhile. The question that I've got for you guys is should I be listing them up individually or should I be doing them as a bundle? I would love to know your thoughts.
Well, we've run into a bit of luck here, guys. Buy one, get one free on, you guessed it, the DVDs. And we ended up spending almost a good hour here in this DVD rack trying to pull out TV series because they seem to go for the best money. The Black Donnelly's here was a good one. Murdoch Mysteries, complete series nine. Whenever I'm trying to find my DVDs, I'm always looking for the latest seasons. They just seem to comp up better uh, and they sell better because people are trying to complete their collections. No need with Pretty Little Liars. We've got every single episode there. Uh, Bindi as well. Anything sort of Steve Irwin related will do well. Mrs. Brown's Boys. Look, that's not going to go for too much money, but it's still a good DVD series to get your hands on. Smallville, I just missed Series 7 in that complete set. And One Tree Hill is always a good one to be finding too, as well as The Chaser's War on everything. So, look, guys, we're in there for quite some time, but it certainly paid off because, as you can see, we've been able to pull out a number of different TV series that will all go on to do well. I've got this one here as well as an Instagram viewer poll question. I've got the Our Generation doll. Now, I've sold one of these in the past, so that's why I'm interested, but it is a viewer poll question. I want to get your thoughts on it. Would you buy this for $10 if you saw it in the thrift store yourself? Uh, given the fact that it's in the box, that's obviously what's got me interested, and you'd probably be dopey to say no to it, I guess. Now, guys, the beauty of past sales experience is you can walk into a thrift store and you can find an item that you have previously sold before, and that's going to help you determine whether or not you should go ahead with the purchase. That was the case with this Our Generation doll. I've gone ahead and picked it up. 35% of you on Instagram said to do so. Um, and I'm not surprised by that, but I have sold this guy before. I should say this girl before. Um, this one generally goes overseas. So UK or US uh, purchases. Um, look, I've got about $30 worth of postage. And I should be able to sell it for about 60 bucks. So buying it for 10, knowing I've done it before is giving me the confidence to go with it again. I'll let you know how it goes. Well, guys, it wouldn't be a trip to the thrift without finding a crazy pair of shoes. And check these out. We've got the Kyrie Irving Sixers, the Nikes. These are an unbelievable pair of basketball shoes. I saw a $45 price point on them. And to be honest with you guys, I wasn't put off by that. Not only did we have the Kyries, but we also had the Giannis as well. Uh, these basketball shoes were pretty sweet too. $35 price point on those. So I wanted to have a look at both. I asked the lady behind the counter to open up the cupboard and let me have a bit of a look inside. And to be honest with you guys, the condition of these Kyries, they are a US 9.5, which again, isn't too bad either. Uh, the condition was pretty good. Have a look at the soles. They've pretty much hardly been worn. There were comps in new condition around about 150 bucks on eBay. So $45. I'm thinking I convert these into about 100 bucks if I give them a good clean. Uh, the Gianna shoes I ended up passing on, but I just thought the fact that we we're able to find both of these in the thrift store was just a very, very cool find. So unfortunately, Unfortunately, guys, in the fourth round of the day, to end the day, there wasn't too much other that I was able to find. It was just the Kyries that I took away. It really has been a massive day of thrifting. All up, I've spent $444 and I've got 50 new listings for my eBay business. Now, I always account for about 45% worth of the total estimated resale value, and I deem there to be about $1,300 out of today's haul. So. I'm going to account about $550 towards the budget. It really is building up towards that $8,000 that we need in just a couple of weeks' time. So things are certainly moving in the right direction. Guys, remember, we've got the Nike Pegasus 36 running shoes up for grabs. Use the code word Nike, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Super simple stuff. We've got the playlist on the channel for this trip to the USA series. So make sure you go ahead and watch any videos that you may have missed. There's always a bunch of great finds in every single video. And uh, I'll leave you with last week's video right here just to make that uh, job nice and easy for you. Appreciate your support, guys. My 30% clubbers that are here till the end of the video. You guys are the absolute best. Appreciate your support. Look forward to seeing you in the next video, guys. We'll see you soon.